Welcome to bonus stage. It's a long film, and, and I think it, it, Citizen Kane the felt it feels longer every time I watch it towards the end. It's but only like two hours. Oh yeah, yeah but too it, long. It it's doesn't feel like there's Batman, a lot of wasted move, moments. Batman, Batman versus Force Superman. Awakens. Totally. Force Awakens. <laughs> The, the amount of things <laughs> yes. it, it, it shows you, every, every filmmaker to try to tell you that much with a scene and a mm -hmm. camera and actors. Uh, uh, well, I want to mention, I saw Grapes of Wrath after that. It was really good. Can't really compare to Citizen Kane. Actually, it is, was closer than I thought it would be for my memories. And but Because I only remember seeing Grapes of Wrath in a high school class instead of reading the book. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, Henry Fonda is still just great, but it really is just a lot of like speeches about... I mean, it's it's Americana socialism, really. That it's just like, oh yeah, we're fucked. The government doesn't care. The cops are bought off, and we just want to work an honest day for an honest pay. And you're gonna pay us two and a half cents. A man can't live off that. It's called the labor movement. The worst yeah. thing about that movie is it it doesn't really uh, reflect that Simpsons episode where Bart goes to France yeah. at all. Yeah, right. Uh, it does make me realize that Captain America would have could have seen Citizen Kane before he was frozen yeah. in ice. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, on his list the, in Winter Soldier. If he had the time, he could. But yeah, the Henry and Henry Fonda though is one of the greatest ever. Though I actually uh, love him in ah, my favorite movie of his I, is Once Upon a Time out in the West. Oh, when the, he's the Leo. killer, yeah, the yeah, blue yeah, eye that killer. Great. People scare better when they're dead. Um, I was I got in a, in a cab to make it over to the cash room in time to see Citizen Kane, and I got the loudest Asian cab drive ever. <laughs> Where you go? Movie theater? See the good movie? Like, sorry not to be <laughs> like, but that's what he wouldn't like. Citizen Kane. <laughs> oh, heard of that one? Good. And like, I'm trying to explain why to someone whose English is their second language mm, why yeah. Citizen Kane is good. Why Citizen Kane? Sorry. Oh, Jesus. oh, dang. That was that's, South Park. That was that's South, what made that me think of it. He's like, Park. what kind of movie is it? And I'm like, oh. That's a tough question. He's like, oh, when's it made? In like 1941. He's like, oh, during World War II. I'm like, not for us. Mm -hmm. Not for, um, uh, for China. Yeah. yeah not, not, for that, that was the World it, War II. It might have been Japanese, show. but it's like, not for us. Yeah. And that, that also made me think of why the movie, the movie uh, is something you could only make pre-war. And that to me is also fascinating where they, Hollywood wasn't funneling a lot of money into they were, but it was like on the precipice of it. He even comments on not yeah. wanting war to happen totally. in the movie. Totally, but like, Siri, you see, you'll see more black and white movies from the war era. Yeah, yeah. because hmm. because that that's when things became. I don't know, things became a little different. I don't think you could yeah. make a movie. Well, it's that in the grandiose. shadow of the Great War. Yeah. and one, hoping there isn't another one. So it's this weird. It's, 20, it's like, like fifteen years. I mean, period. duh, it's our it's our nine eleven, and the idea that like, who the fuck cares about a newspaper magnate? We're at war. So for years, they did, no other movie of that type could be made. Yeah. Like about, uh, that's a, a profile on a non-existent person. Like in a shitload of propaganda films followed, and John Wayne became famous. Yeah.